cataract so cataract what is cataract it's the i would say it's the uh, most important and i think it's the commonest thing i mean uh, that you will see the patient might be having right <clears throat> so what is going to be the presenting complaint it's going to be loss of vision it's going to be loss of vision but it's not all of a sudden it's a gradual it's a gradual process so it's a gradual painless loss of vision right patient will have blurred vision as well they might have loss of vision they might have color halos around the light as well but mainly you'll see gradual painless loss of vision that is cataract so what are the differential i should be ruling out first of all it is painless right so uh <clears throat> armd it's going to be the main differential it is age related macular degeneration so cataract usually you will see in elderly patients isn't it of course there are some risk factors as well that i'm going to discuss uh, but usually you'll see in elderly patients so what are other problems that you might see in elderly patient which can also be related to like blurring of vision or loss of vision that is armd age related macular degeneration so what happens with those patients they'll be seeing some wavy lines that's really important and they usually have uh, uh, armd patient they usually have central vision loss as well right uh, cataract usually they ha don't have any uh, pain but if the pain is then of course uh, glaucoma angle closure glaucoma that i'm gonna keep if not the pain then it might be open glaucoma right so there might not be any pain but the patient might have uh, uh, color um, halos patient might have blurring of vision right so even if you want to keep, uh, you can keep a retinal detachment as well as going to be your uh, DD. But retinal detachment, things happens suddenly, not like gradually as you see in cataract. Okay. Now, what are the risk factors? One risk factor I would say is age. As the age is increasing, the chances of getting cataract is obviously going to be high, isn't it? Otherwise, diabetes is one. If you've got any chronic medical condition like diabetes, like hypertension, if you are a smoker and drinking alcohol, all these are the risk factors. Now, if you are taking long-term steroid, if you're taking long-term steroid, that is also one of the risk factors, right? Uh, <clears throat> usually, if you see, if you are taking oral steroid, it's going to be going for cataract. If the patient is using steroid eye drops, that can be the reason of glaucoma, I mean. But mainly oral, oral steroid I'm talking about can be the reason of cataract. Okay, what you will do, you do eye examination. You have to do about... Uh, uh, eye examination, right? And I think uh, if you do eye, you'll be able to see it's uh, white in the center. So it's going to be easy for us to make the diagnosis of cataract. And you see like optometrist, uh, they do the evaluation and they'll be able to make the diagnosis. Yeah. Uh, now what's the treatment like? So it's not like uh, emergency. It's not like you have to send the patient straight away. No, it can be like non-urgent referral as well. But still we have to make sure we uh, manage the patient uh, Soon. It's not like we're going to wait for months or ages. No, because, you know, sometime uh, uh, in the in the setting, it might take a bit longer to get the appointment. But uh, yeah, it's not very urgent referral. But uh, of course, the treatment has to be done because the patient is having gradual loss of vision. So it's better we do the treatment and treatment is what? Surgery. What you need to do, you have to change the lens. What is cataract? When the lens of your eye, uh, like that's a small transparent disc, that becomes cloudy. That becomes cloudy. That is um, uh, what you call as cataract. And what's the treatment? Just change that lens. You change the lens and that is uh, uh, the treatment. So the surgery is done under local anesthesia. That should be uh, fine. And uh, <clears throat> now the thing is, if the patient is having it in both the eyes, if the patient is having it in, in both the eyes, when are you going to do the surgery? Can we do surgery in both the eyes together? The answer is not really. Not really. Uh, the, the treatment has to be a bit apart. Usually they say few weeks. The guidelines, if you go in, bit, in detail, they say like 6 to 12 weeks gap has to be there. Right, so see which eye you need the treatment first. So you treat that eye first, change the lens, uh, and then when one lens is absolutely okay, maybe like six, eight, six, eight, ten, twelve weeks, and then you can do the surgery in the other eye as well.
All right. So that is going to be the treatment. Now, are we going to inform DVLA? Yes, yes, yes. Depending, again, there is a condition as well. Uh, if you're driving for a living, if you're driving for a living, for example, if you're driving a bus, a lorry, coach, you need to inform DVLA, even if you have got cataract in one eye, right? If you have got cataract in one eye, but you're not driving for a living, you're driving your own vehicle, then you don't need to inform DVLA. But if you have got medical condition, any other medical condition in your other eye, then you need to inform DVLA. Yeah, let me come back. So if if patient has got a cataract in, in one eye, other eye is absolutely fine. This eye is cataract. This is absolutely fine. But patient is driving for a living, is driving a bus, coach, lorry. You need to inform DVLA. Now I'm driving my own car. I've got cataract in one eye. This eye is absolutely fine. I don't need to inform DVLA. If I've got cataract in this eye and I've got some other problem, maybe glaucoma in this eye, then I need to inform DVLA. All right. Again, you know, guys, see, if you got any doubt, you know, any doubt, there is no harm in mentioning about DVLA. There is no harm in mentioning about DVLA. All right. Uh, because you can say, because it's not like DVLA always they're going to bar you from driving. What they're going to do, they will make sure your uh, uh, eyesight checked more frequently. That's the main thing, right? Uh, <clears throat> in terms of... Uh, uh, IPS, ICE, ICE, ICE is uh, uh, very, very important. It's important very, well, I mean, every single uh, scenario. Chuck and check, very important. Uh, when you give the information, give in bits and pieces. Make a habit, guys. You know, don't say more than three lines in one go when you're giving the management plan. So when you say two, three, three, four lines max, you give a pose, patient might have something to ask. That is really important, yeah? Summarize, acknowledgement, body language is really, really important. Signposting, always signpost before you start at different kinds of history, yeah? Uh, active listening, very important. Always offer in the, in the leaflets as well to this patient because, you know... Uh, Anytime patient is coming to the GP or any clinic, they, they will be able to spend limited time with the doctor, isn't it? You know, in the GP, for example, we have got uh, 10, 12 minutes, usually 10 minutes for one patient. And they, they might be having a lot of other concerns that is, uh, maybe they feel, mm, I, I I wouldn't, I, I didn't get time to ask, for example, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the consultation. So what we do is, uh, uh, we give them some leaflets. They can read about it. And if they've got any query, they can book another appointment. They can call us and that should be okay, right? Can I continue driving? I think we got the answer. Uh, uh, when can get the surgery? Surgery can be arranged uh, as soon as possible, isn't it? I mean, it may take a week or two, depending on the symptom as well. Uh, but of course, uh, uh, both the eyes surgery, there has to be a gap of 6 to 12 weeks. When I can get the surgery done in the other eye, it may be around maybe say two months, maybe yeah, it's a six to 12 weeks is the, is the gap, right? Depending on the waiting list, depending on a lot of things, uh, I would say. Yeah. And again, don't make sure, I mean, don't make sure you're not missing the warning signs, the safety netting, any sudden loss of vision, any pain in the eye, for example, make sure you go to the hospital straight away, right? That's what you need to mention. All right. That's uh, cataract. cat right.